this week's video blog is one of my all-time favorite chapters in the Bible, Ezekiel 37. It's about the valley of dry bones. It's where God took Ezekiel out into the valley and said, Ezekiel, can these bones live again? And he said, prophesy that their ears would hear the word of the Lord, prophesy that they would come to life. And this third one is so killer, prophesy to my breath that my breath would enter them and for sure they'll come back to life. <laughs> this is really large. So in our singing, in our praying, in our prophesying, in anything we do, I'm saying let's go for it this week, next couple weeks, release your breath, O Lord. Let the breath of life, it says, um, and even though I'm doing Ezekiel 37, when he breathed into Adam, he became a living being. He became a living soul. That is the power of the breath of life. So we start in Ezekiel 37. It says, the hand of the Lord God was upon me. And he brought me out by the spirit of the Lord. And God, we pray that right now for pastors, our home church pastors, prayer leaders, prayer rooms, God, let your hand be so upon them, God, God it will be apparent with fire and with some of the thunderings of your heart coming through their speaking and their praying. And then bring them out by your Holy Spirit. And he sat me down in the very middle of the valley and it was full of bones, very dry bones. He caused me to pass a, around among them, and behold, there were very, very many on the surface of the valley, and lo, they were very dry. There was no life in them. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live again? And I answered, O Lord God, you know, which when I get to heaven, I'm going to check out Ezekiel. I love Ezekiel. He's one of my favorite prophets. But I'm going, dude, the Lord asked you a question straight up. Did you like buffer it? You got out of answering it, didn't you? Instead of saying yes or no or yes, God, because of who you are. He goes, Lord, you know. I, I don't know if that was evasive tactic right there. But I'm asking you today if the Lord brought you to the valley. You have a valley of dry bones in your community, in your region, possibly some in your church. Our church is down the street. Are we praying for them? Can these bones live again? Say yes or no. No, yes or no. Can, I, I'm saying wholeheartedly, absolutely yes, because he's the living God. So these bones, we answer in Ezekiel's place, even though I couldn't walk a mile in his shoes. Again, he said to me, prophesy over these bones and say to them, hear the word of the Lord. So the first part of the prophesying over the dry bones is open the gateway to their hearing. These are three simple points you can do anywhere. You can do it for missionaries overseas in Africa or India. You can do it any way you want. But the first thing that he commanded Ezekiel to prophesy, hear the word of the Lord. The gateway to hearing has to open. The first part of praying over dry bones or burnt stones, people away from the Lord, is this right here. Open the gateway to their hearing, Lord. Open the gateway to their understanding. Hear the word of the Lord. That's in verse 4. And then we go to verse 5. It says, Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath. Our spirit is their breath in your voice when you're singing for the Lord. In your worship team members is their breath. Or when you lead worship Sunday morning, prayer room, Wednesday night, special service, is the breath of God actually on you and in you. Start praying, God, release your breath, your spirit through us as we pray. Then he said, I will put sinews on you, verse 6, and make flesh grow back on you. And you'll put breath in them that they may come to life and you will know. So he said, what I want you to do first is prophesy. Hear the word of the Lord. Second, prophesy that my breath would enter the dry bones. It goes on to say, so I prophesied as I was commanded. At least Ezekiel obeyed. It says right here, it says it twice in two different places in, in uh, Ezekiel 37. He was smart enough to obey. He, God said, I'm commanding you to prophesy that their hearing would be open, that they'll hear me, my voice. And secondly, prophesy my breath would come into them and they'll come to life. So he did it. Thank you, Ezekiel. He prophesied as I was commanded and I prophesied and there, there was a noise. Here we go. If you got babies in your house, there's noise. If you got teenagers at your house every afternoon after school, like at our house with our kids growing up, it's noisy, but noise is a good thing. A noise came, and behold, the rattling, and it was on. This is beyond Raiders of the Lost Ark, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. This is sci-fi way before any video or movie stuff was available. It says, so I, I prophesied to them, and there was a noise, and the bones came together bone to bone. But it says in verse 8, but there was still 
no breath in them. You're going to release the breath of God, you singers, you players, you intercessors. I mean, every day we're, God, at our business, God, let your breath begin to, let life come into these people. They're so dysfunctional. There's so many things messed up right now. As I looked and behold, sinews, bone to bone, Ezekiel's probably freaking out. Think about this. If this happened in a vision, it was in you, in your spirit or your mind. And sinews came and flesh grew and then skin covered them. But guess what? They were still laying on the ground because it says, verse 8, there was no breath in them. Oh, I'm sorry, Lord. But he said, prophesy to my breath, son of man. Prophesy to the breath, the lack of breath in them and the fact that I'm the God of all breath and spirit. Get that. That's two different things. Isn't that awesome? There was no breath or spirit in them yet. And on the other hand, he says, I put breath and spirit in you from me as a living being, as a living creator. He said, so prophesy, O son of man, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God. I love that stuff. Come from the four winds, O breath. O breath of God, the Amplified says in parentheses, and breathe on these, S-L-A-I-N, the slain. Oh, I love the slain. I hurt. I weep over the slain. You know, my, can't, yeah, I, I, I'm in youth right now and I'm 18, but my, my dad left when I was three. He left when I was eight. I was 14 and I've never had a father. And could you pray for me? And I need, he, listen, the slain are everywhere. Homeless downtown St. Louis, downtown LA, Nashville. I mean, the slain, the dysfunction is so great. That's why when we sing and play and pray, the breath of God will come in. He said, prophesy, come from the four winds, O breath of God, that they may come to life. Secondly, he said, so I prophesied again as I was commanded. And breath came into him. You can't, you're not even ready for that, dude. <laughs> he said, I prophesied as God commanded me. Breath came into them. And it says this, and as they stood, they came to life and they stood up. I love this, an exceeding great army. This is what I've been waiting for. 37 years into ministry, 27 years on the road. I've been waiting for this exceeding great army. It's coming out of the valley of dry bones. And then the burn stones that are not dry are dead, but they're out of church. They used to serve God. They used to be ushers and worship team members and children's church workers. They sit home every Sunday because they got burned out. Their vision got crushed. So breath is going to come from you through your singing, your playing, and your ministering in prayer. It's going to be so powerful. They came to life and they stood up on their feet check it an exceeding great army so ezekiel 37 let's pick up the guitar and go for it and let's sing the song of the lord da, da, da. breathe on these oh breath of god oh breath of god won't you breathe on these those that are slain Breath of God, oh breath of God, the slain are coming back to life. The valley of dry bones lives again, oh the slain are coming back to life. The valley of dry bones will live again. God asked Ezekiel, can these bones live again? The Lord asked Ezekiel, can these bones live again? He said, Lord, do you know the answer? The answer from our heart to yours is yes, Lord, yeah. These bones can live again. The dead, the slain, we cry out and go. Breathe on these, O oh, breath of God. Breath of God, won't you breathe on these, those that were slain, they're coming back to life, oh, breathe on these, oh, breath of God, oh, breath of God, as your word commands us, we say it now, prophesy to the breath. As Ezekiel obeyed you, Lord, 
you said prophesy to my breath and so we did the bones rose up the sinews were added lord wow it must have been like a science fiction movie beyond anything we've seen up before yeah bone to bone sinew to sinew skin came on and they were still laying there and he said you gotta prophesy with my breath come to life come to life come to life come to life we cry out god now breathe on me oh breath of god oh breath of god won't you breathe on me slain are coming back to life because you breathe on me oh breath of god oh breath of god the slain are coming back to life the valley of dry bones god we prophesy your breath is coming from the north ah your breath is coming from the south out of heaven god your breath is coming from the east we just read this scripture god come on sing it out again and prophesy come to life by the breath of god breath of god they are coming to new life the valley of dry bones yeah they're coming by your breath, oh God, I love that. By your breath, oh God, the valley of dry bones will live again. All the burnt stones that left church are coming back again. We're crying out in prayer and intercession. Pray and sing the word of God. It will not return void. We're praying and singing the word of God. Do not forget it. We're releasing the transforming power it's been stored up for hundreds of years. So we sing, we say, hang on, breathe on me. Oh, breath of God. I know it's happening right now. Breath of God, won't you breathe on me? The slain are rising up, a great and exceeding great army for your glory exceeding great army Ezekiel 37 ends when you prophesy to the dead bones they will rise to be an exceeding great army for the Lord and for his glory for your presence God they stood up an exceeding great army Ezekiel 37 the end of it all God the reason the valley of dry bones you took Ezekiel there Lord so he could understand. And for us as New Testament believers, we say, I know you breathe on the Your breath, oh God, your breath, oh God, breathe on the The valley of dry bones and of the burnt stones, oh you breathe on the We pray and prophesy. <laughs> We know it's true, Lord, because you are God. And you said it in your word. We know it's true because you are the living God. Hey, yeah, living God. It's living breath, oh Lord, living God. Thank you, Lord. Singing and praying your word. We get it, Lord.